This is a common Christian belief. Uh, here's one that really hackles, uh, gets, gets the hackles raising on some people. This is from John Ryan's papyrus. Uh, this is about 250 AD in Egypt. Uh, a prayer to the Theotokos, which is a uh, Greek term for Mary, the God bearer, uh, the mother of God. Beneath your compassion, we take refuge, Theotokos. Our petitions do not despise in our time of trouble. Is it basically a prayer? And in the midst of the prayer, uh, they're asking Mary to keep them in prayer. Cyprian of Carthage in 253 AD writes this. Let us remember one another in concord and in unanimity. Let us on both sides of death always pray. Oops, I'm giving away the punchline here. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let us remember one another in concord and unanimity. Let us on both sides of death always pray for one another. Let us relieve burdens and afflictions by mutual love, that if one of us, by the swiftness of our of divine condescension, uh, condescension shall go henceforth or hence first, if one of us dies first, our love may continue in the presence of the Lord and our prayers for our brethren and sisters not cease in the presence of the Father's mercy. So this is basically a prayer that, hey, brothers, one of us is going to die before the others. And when you die, pray for us before the Father's presence and pray for us uh, in the presence of the Father for mercy, basically. So the practical upshot of this is this. This is utterly, utterly Christian and biblical. If you deny the concept that the saints are aware of us, that the saints can pray for us, that the body of Christ is one, then you're denying this biblical truth, this historical Christian truth based on what is actually a man-made teaching, a man-made tradition of less than 500 years old. This dates from the the, the Reformation and even some of the reformers held to the belief that the saints uh, could hear us intercede for us. But